We are all aware of Ronaldo's controversies with his former club Manchester United after his controversial TV interview in which he fired shots at the club, its manager Eric Ten Hag, and its owners, the Glazers family. But that didn't stop him from being the world's most valuable player. Welcome back to Fine Looks. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to this channel so you can get notified when we upload more content like this. After the World Cup, the Portugal star trained alone at his former club Real Madrid's training facility, preparing to decide on his future. Despite becoming the only player in history to score in five World Cups, Ronaldo had a mixed fortune in the 2022 FIFA World Cup. The number seven suddenly came on as a second half replacement in Portugal, 1 0 quarterfinal loss to Morocco. Following the defeat, the five time Ballon d'Or winner was hesitant to discuss his international future. The Manchester United boss Ten Hag remarked that the club was looking to the future after Ronaldo's departure and that he was gone and it's the past. Cristiano was 18 years old when he declared that he would be the best player in the world. The other players considered it entertaining rather than arrogant. They rated him after seeing what he could do in training. After a great season with Sporting that drew the interest of Europe's top clubs, Ronaldo signed with English superpower Manchester United in 2003. He became an instant phenomenon and quickly established himself as one of the game's top strikers. His best season with United was 2007-2008 when he scored 42 league and cup goals and won the Golden Shoe title as Europe's top scorer with 31 league goals. After leading United to the Champions League title in May 2008, Ronaldo was named Federación Internacional, the Football Association, World Player of the Year for his outstanding performance throughout the 2007-2008 season. He also led the United to the 2008 Champions League final when they were defeated by FC Barcelona. Soon after, Ronaldo was transferred to Real Madrid in Spain, a club with which he had long been linked for a then record 80 million pounds. His scoring prowess carried over to his new club and he scored the most goals in La Liga history during the 2010-2011 season. Ronaldo helped Real Madrid win La Liga in 2011-2012, scoring a personal best 46 goals during the season. In 2013, he scored 66 goals in 56 games for Real Madrid and the Portuguese national team, earning him his second FIFA World Player of the Year award. In 2014, he scored 52 goals in 43 games and guided Real Madrid to the Champions League triumph, earning him yet another Ballon d'Or honor. In 2014-2015, he led La Liga in scoring with 48 goals. Ronaldo scored his 324th goal for Real Madrid in October 2015, becoming the club's all-time leading scorer. In 2015-2016, he scored 35 La Liga goals and helped Real win a record 11th Champions League title, and he was awarded his fourth career Ballon d'Or in December 2016. In 2016-2017, Ronaldo scored 42 goals for Real Madrid across all competitions and led his club to La Liga and Champions League crowns, earning him his fifth Ballon d'Or honor. In 2017-2018, he scored 44 goals in 44 appearances as Real Madrid won their third Champions League title in a row. In July 2018, he signed a four-year contract with Juventus worth 112 million euro. He ended his Real Madrid career with 311 goals in 292 games. His first season with Juventus, he scored 28 goals his lowest domestic goal total since. His last season with Manchester United, as the powerful club won its eighth consecutive Italian league title. Ronaldo helped Juventus win another league title in the 2019-2020 season. And the club also won the 2020 Supercoppa Italiana and the 2021 Coppa Italia final. He left Juventus and returned to Manchester United many months after the latter match. However, his second stay with the club was a letdown. Ronaldo and Manchester City both suffered, and he revealed growing discontent with the club. His contract was ended by mutual agreement in November 2022. Ronaldo signed for the Saudi Arabian club Al Nasser the following month. Al Nasser is a Saudi Pro League team headquartered in Riyadh. It has the second most league titles in the country's top flight club football. This is more than just history being made. This was a signing that would not only motivate the club to greater success, but will also inspire our league, our country, and future generations of boys and girls to be the best versions of themselves. Ronaldo is a unique footballer 
and human being whose influence extends far beyond football. Cristiano was joining a club with enormous objectives and competitive club that is among the best in Asia. And he will be welcomed to a country that is making massive development on and off the field, with chances for everyone, but above all, we can't wait to see him in the number 7 shirt of Al Nasser, doing what he does best, scoring goals, winning trophies and bringing joy to fans of the beautiful game. Cristiano Ronaldo top Forbes world's highest paid soccer players 2021 list, earning 125 million US dollar in total earnings during the previous 12 months. Now he is earning 200 million euros, making the rich list. However, it's nothing new for the renowned football player. After all, he is the world's first team sport athlete to earn more than 1 billion US dollar in career earnings before taxes. But how does one of football's hottest players make a living? Ronaldo knows how to balance the books, from exploiting his social media dominance to signing multi-million dollar deals. Ronaldo reportedly charges up to $1 million for every paid Instagram post, making him the platform's greatest earner. Off the field, Ronaldo was one of the most well-known sports stars, and various studies of athlete popularity revealed that he was the most loved athlete in the world during his playing prime. Ronaldo's tremendous popularity made him one of the highest paid sports endorsers in history. And in November 2016, he became the third person to get a lifetime contract from the sportswear brand Nike. In addition, he created his own profitable CR7 range of products, which included shoes, undergarments, and fragrances. Ronaldo's enormous marketability was key to a legal dispute that occurred in June 2017. Prosecutors filed a complaint against Ronaldo that month, accusing him of defrauding the Spanish government of 14.7 million euro by concealing his image rights revenue in Spain from 2011 to 2014. He was accused of underestimating his revenue from the sale and licensing of his image rights, as well as the associated tax requirements. But Ronaldo refuted all charges. However, in June 2018, he accepted a suspended two-year prison sentence and agreed to pay the Spanish government 18.8 million euro to resolve the case. What kind of deal do you think Ronaldo has with Nike? Yes, Ronaldo makes his keep on social media, but it is his lifelong contract with Nike that brings in the dough, and which will continue to do so for the rest of his… uh… life. Inc. in 2016, the collaborations was considered historic, as it was the only third time the brand had ever signed a lifetime celebrity endorsement. The other two were with LeBron James and Michael Jordans, while Forbes says that Ronaldo earned 1 billion US dollar from the contract. Nike identified the potentials of Ronaldo's social media presence early on and deemed him to be a mega influencer. According to the website, Ronaldo earned $474 million for Nike in just one year. That's all we have for today. Do you think anyone can surpass what Ronaldo is earning at his new club? Share your thoughts in the comment below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel.